Oh, honey, the dolls. The doll. Let me fix this wig, baby. The dolls are here. Oh, today she looks like a little disco doll. What is the tea, everybody? This is your girl. Your big ass. BBW girl, Miss Luscious Massacre. In the oh, I just sound like such a man. <laughs> what is the tea, everybody? Oh, my God. I have not been on YouTube in full drag in a minute. Today, I was feeling a fantasy. Shout out to my good Judy, Miss Sammy. Miss Sammy fixed this hair up for the girls. Baby, she loves to, Miss Sammy from Dallas, Texas. She loves to get the dolls together with the wigs. I'm living for this little red fantasy. I'm going to share her on Instagram, Miss Sammy. I'm going to tag her. And y'all can hit her up for all of your hair fantasy, all of your hair needs. <gasps> get up in this mug, baby. She was Feeling very red and fiery, honey. The Dark Phoenix is here. Miss Luscious Massacre is here. Oh, I haven't done a gig in a minute. I haven't done a video in a minute in full drag. And I was like, baby, I've been, I've been, I've been busy. <laughs> the doll has been traveling the country. She's been working. She's been busy. I cannot complain. Uh, actually, I can't complain at all. I feel very blessed. Uh, and I'm very present in all of the adventures uh, that I am living right now. A friend of mine asked me the other day and she said, are you living your dream? And I said, baby, this is definitely, I'm living a dream. It's a dream what I've been doing. It's been amazing. The people that I've been hanging out with have been amazing, that I've been collaborating. Cause it's not just hanging out, baby. The dolls are collaborating and it's been truly amazing. Um, I wanted to come on here really quick and just have a little chit chat, have a little a kiki with the dolls because I haven't filled you in on what's going on with me, what's going on in my head, in my world. Today, you really get luscious. You know what I mean? All the other videos, when you see me in my little cross dresser, honey, you know, she just put on a little chapstick, a little bit of blush, and a lash for the trade. That's Miss Mimi, okay? I call, you know, it's the Luscious Massacre channel, so you get all of me. But that doll, that creature, that woman, her name is Mimi, you know what I mean? And she's, she's the everyday kind of girl. She's the pedestrian fish girl that, you know, she goes to the supermarket. She goes down the street. She's a street walker and maybe she gets a little trade. Right now, you're in the presence of Luscious. This is the actual full manifestation representation of Luscious. This is Luscious uh, light, actually. <laughs> because, you know, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a subdued woman right now. L the real Luscious, she comes at you for war. You know, the girls love to battle, especially with the cosmeticals and the drag. The hair is a little soft today. She's giving you a soft and dainty woman moment. She's giving you some soft jewelry. You know, essentially, I'm still a cross-dresser, but this is Luscious today. You know what I mean? Now, before I get into all the tea, all the kiki, all the zhuzh, honey, and all the shade, because I know the shady ladies are here and they want to get all up in the tea, I do want to give a really quick shout out to Miss Kim Chi Chic Beauty, because you know Miss Kim Chi Chic, she always gets me and this mug together. Now, if for whatever reason, I know my painting skills, okay? I know I can paint. I know the mug is laid. I know the mug is right. But if anything looks off, I did go out. The doll has been sweating. She got back already. You know, I popped up a lip. I popped on a lip. Look at this lip. Baby, the lip. Oh, look, you know what? And I might as well. I might as well give the doll a shout out. This, I, of course, I'm wearing a lip liner and concealer on the lip. But the gloss, though. Baby, the gloss. She's getting me together. This is from Miss Laura Lee Los Angeles. <laughs> Laura Lee, honey, getting the drag queens together. This is in the shade E-Bug, the Laura Lee lip gloss. And I live, it's so, so, so glossy and sickening and it lasts all night. I've been out for a few hours and I had to retouch. And the doll is back. Okay. I'm going to give a really quick shout out to Miss Kimchi Chic Beauty. She came out with these sickening. These are the, uh, what are these? Baby. Baby doll, baby girl, what's the tea? Tell me right now. This is the glazed to go eyeshadow duo and pressed pigment. So you get an eyeshadow and a press. This is actually really cute. This is really cute for the girls on the go. I feel like this is very for the college girls, the girls who are in high school, the girls when they're going to work, honey. Or you know what? If you're a little streetwalker hooker girl, this is your T2 because you know what? You can do a one-two step, baby. The Sierra one-two step. You better not lose control, Miss Sierra. So what you're going to do is 
You grab your shadow, boom, 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 all over the lid, and then you grab, baby. You grab your pop on. What is this? Like this is what usually you put this on the lid. Look at this. Oh, okay. You pop that on, and then you grab the little gay pink. Boom! You got your you got your shit. You got baby. This is a street walker, honey. The street walkers are here. Look at this. This is in the shade. We're not even putting, honey. I just I was not bothered. This is in the shade, Miss Sink. C I N Q. Okay, right here we got Miss Duh. Miss Duh. This is the the way you need to say the number two. The number two. The doe, honey. The doe. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Baby, get up in the gig. Let's swatch the dolls. I know the girls love the little gay swatch. Heard around the world. Here we go. Bam. Oh, my God. I'm actually kind of shook. I, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was going to have no pigment mama at all. But the doll is here. Get all up in the... What was that? Miss Doe? Miss Do? Part Do? Part Two? Baby, I'm falling apart. I'm falling... Let me retouch. Retouch. Baby, let me retouch. The doll is falling apart. But you know what? I'm going to give you... The little tutorial geek fantasy and i'm also gonna spill the tea on this video so y'all hold up i know y'all shady y'all some shady dolls up in here and i know that girl i can already tell in the comments uh, well luscious is just trying to sell us makeup she takes forever to get to the point honey video starts at five minutes and 45 seconds that's when she really starts to spill the tea honey Skip the intro, girl. Skip the intro. Luscious is just trying to sell the cosmetics, girl. Luscious is being the little Mary Kay lady. I already know. I already know the girls. I already know the dolls in the car. Oh, come on, Miss Green. Miss Green, look at this brown arm, baby. Shout out to all the brown skin girls out there, baby. We got the color up in here, the color dolls. This is in the shade six. Come on, Miss Six in the house. Miss Six, oh my God, this is gonna be, I don't even know how to pronounce these, Tra, Menage Tra. <laughs> the Menage, these are the Nicki Menage eyeshadow. <laughs> no, Miss, Miss Kimchi Chic. Okay, let's get all up in this gig, hold on. Give me a minute, oh, these feel, I'm not gonna lie, look. I, I know, I <laughs> Let's have a second, I'm just gonna spill the tea right now. Y'all know I have a code with Miss Kimchi, okay? Full disclosure, you can use code LUSHES to get 15% off at kimchichicbeauty.com. That does not mean that I'm going to sit here and be a full Mary Kay lady and lie to y'all. These eyeshadows are creamy boots, and that's not a lie. I'm spilling the real tea, baby. I'm spilling the real tea for the dog. Okay, let's go in right here. Bam! Oh, look at that beauty, honey. Beauty and grace. She is Miss United States. What was that shade? Menage a tra, honey, menage a tra. I, I, I know I'm butchering these names. Miss Kimchi, the menage a tra. If y'all are living for the tra, go ahead and go in, baby. This is the quatre. The qua Miss Kim is really coming for me with these pronunciations, honey. Y'all know I can barely speak English and I can barely speak Spanish, honey. And she's coming for me. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. Oh, that's, oh, those are cute. This is very the seedy lady. This gives me very transvestite, transvestigation, transvesticles. You know the girls, some of us, we don't have testicles, baby. We have transvesticles because we are transvestites. This is very the transvestical type of eyeshadow. This is in the shade Quattro. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pronounce it as Quattro, baby. I'm I'm going full Spanish, honey. This is in the shade the UN. Oh, maybe this was like a United Nations collection. <laughs> Miss Kim Chi, she's giving us the United Nations. She's trying to unite the nations. Miss Kim Chi Chic is the uniter of nations. Let's go in right here. Do, uh, don't mind my ashy elbow, baby. Don't be coming for the ashy elbow. <gasps> oh, look at the girl. The swatches hurt. Y'all really want, let me tell you, leave it to Luscious to bring back the beauty community and the sickening, this is our stunning swatch. I'm sorry for all the busted beauty girls of the world. I give the sickest swatches in the world. This is the shade UN from Miss Kim Chi. She gets a beautiful little, you know the girls, you know the girls. They love a soft and subtle, boring golden brown. They layer for the boring. Is that it? Is the is that the entirety of the color? I think that's the okay. That's it on the shadows. 
I'm gonna give a quick rundown. She also released Miss, uh, let me tell you, honey, Miss Kimchi, she never sleeps. She never stops, honey. Miss Kimchi's over there grabbing her bag. She released eyebrow pencils, okay? Eyebrow pencils in the house for all the shades. You know, if you're blonde, if you're a redhead, honey, maybe she probably don't have a redhead up in here. But if whatever color of hair, you just go based off of your hair color, you get an eyebrow pencil and bam, here you go. Here you go. Oh my God. I have all my makeup here just thrown around, not bothered. You also, girl, typical drag queen, honey, her station is full of cosmeticals, okay? You also get all of these beautiful, look at this, look at the beauty. These are lip liners from Miss Kimchi Chic Beauty. You guys can check them out online. And like I said, I'm sorry for all the dolls. If you don't have a code, you don't have a code, but if you have a code, use code Luscious and get a discount, baby. Okay, let's move on to the video. Let's get all up into the gig. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a kiki. I have a lot to get off my chest. <laughs> Okay, let's talk. Let's have a real moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I know I look very fake and fabricated right now. I'm all done up. Y'all know that this is not what I really look like. <laughs> Y'all know what I really look like, and this is not it. You know what I mean? Uh at the beginning of the year, you know, December, January, February, March, I was posting videos almost every single day. I was living that YouTube life. I was really feeling that fantasy. And then, you know, things happened and I just removed myself. Uh. I was really at the point where I feel like I was pushing myself to the ends of the earth, to the, like, I was pushing myself to my limit, to the, to the tilt, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was stretching out. I just, I felt like there was such a, like, a toxic energy around me. It's hard for me to be able to multitask. You guys have known this. If you follow me on my channel, I, I usually, when I'm I'm in one thing, I, I focus and I'm like laser sharp focused. I was so focused on trying to keep myself busy because what was going on in my real life was just, it was scary. There were so many things happening. I was trying to be, to just to feed my work and feed my art and feed my channel. I was trying to post content stay busy. You know, a lot of the times they say, and, and I'm a firm believer, if you stay busy, those voices, you know, sometimes th those negative voices, they stay away if you just find something to do. And I feel like I found something to do, uh, but maybe I was focused on the wrong things. And I, I, I feel like I was so busy on focusing on my YouTube channel, but maybe my focus was entirely too much around drama. I was constantly sharing my opinion, my critiques, and my, adding my two cents, and inserting myself in things that, and I, I, I'm, a, I'm still, I'm a shady girl and I have an opinion about everything. Baby, I have an opinion about everything going on right now, but do I wanna share it right now? No, I don't because right now I'm, I'm good with my, where I am in life right now. I'm good with my energy, my space, what I'm working on, what I'm focusing on. More than anything right now, I'm good what I'm focusing on and it's not that. And I had to just kind of remove myself and that's the reason why you haven't really seen me on YouTube that much because I it's almost like I got sick of myself a little bit I'll I'll be honest and I was like oh I just I need a I need to walk away for a little bit I need to recenter I need to refocus I need to pull away from YouTube because I'm doing it too much I was posting every single day to the point where I got sick of myself and I also I I feel like I got sick of the conversations that I was having I, 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 look, maybe I'm being too hard on myself. Maybe it wasn't that serious. Maybe it wasn't all that like, girl, you're fine. You're fine. But in my head, I was just like, oh, I don't like what I'm doing right now. I'm not having fun. This is not fun for me. It, it, it was starting to feel like you're doing it just to do it to stay busy because you're trying to escape the reality of your life. You need to just remove yourself from social media and you just need to live in the real world. Luscious, can you go live in the real world? Put your phone down, put the camera down, put social media down, and can you just go live the real life? Can you disconnect? Girl, let me tell you something. I was posting on social media every when it, around January, February, March. 
I was on social media every single day doing live streams, posting videos. And then I opened a second channel. I had my Spanish channel and I was also filming content for my Spanish channel. And I was posting very often on my Spanish channel as well. And it was just like, I felt like I was just so full. Every day I woke up and immediately I was like, what am I gonna post on YouTube? What do I have to do today? I have to eat, I have to sh I have to do this and then I have to go post on YouTube. It was just like, it consumed me and it stopped being fun for me. I stopped being inspired. I was no longer inspired by it. I, I was no longer, I was just, I didn't even give myself time to think and be creative. I was just boom, 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 churning out, you know? Uh, ah, I was over it. I got over it. And finally, I was able to just pause take a breather, and then I started to travel, and I was like, sis, you know what? I have other things going on right now. Let me focus 100% on that, and let me take a break. Let me take a break from YouTube. Let me take a break from social media, and let me take a break from drama, because I've been, I, I mean, let's be honest. I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and, and not call it what it is. I was so heavily focused on drama, and it was becoming toxic for me. It was becoming toxic for my mental health. I needed to step away. I'm not saying, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I'm never going to talk about drama again. Oh, I'm never going to share my opinions again. I'm never, no, I have a million opinions. Girl, right now, honey, if I did a video and I shared my opinions, the girls would gag. Honey, press the number one if you want me to share my, <laughs> I already know the dolls. I know the dolls are ready, baby, for me to share and, and really let the girls know what I'm thinking. But you know what, right now, I'm a little scared to go back to that. I know eventually I will, probably, possibly, you never know. But right now, I'm just like, <sighs> those videos were so heavy sometimes. And I feel like I was going through so many things in my life that I would get on camera and it was almost like a little tea kettle. I would like vent it out, release it out, you know, like a gusher, like, boom, oh, money. And uh, right now, I feel like I'm I'm living a different life right now. I'm in a different place. Right now, I feel very blessed and I'm very present. I, I feel very fortunate for what I'm doing with my life and what I'm, where I am in my life right now. I feel like for now, I'm good. I feel like I overloaded. I, <laughs> that's the word. I overloaded on the drama community, you know? And I feel like I owe you guys an explanation because I was a part of the drama community. Let's just call it what it is. It was just not feeding me anymore creatively and it wasn't fun anymore. And I kind of had lost my way there. I there, there was no purpose for me anymore. You know, I felt like, and, and this is just, this is how I feel. Maybe people feel differently, but I felt like I was always around the world of drama, but I always, for a long time, I tried to stay away from it. And then it, I got to a point where I had to defend myself. And then the defending myself part, like I defended myself so much. And then it became like personal. And then I was like, I just, I, I, I lost my way. And I lost the reason why I was doing it. And then I realized maybe for now, right now, maybe I just, I don't need to. I don't need to do it. Why, why am I doing it? Who am I, who am I coming for? Who am I, um, am I attacking just to attack? Like, what's the, what's the use? What's the point? What's the purpose? You know, I always do things in my life with a sense of purpose and a sense of intention. And I feel like eventually I was just like, I'm over this. I don't need to do this anymore. I'm kind of over this. I've been doing it too long. It's getting old. I'm getting bored of it. I needed to remove myself and go live my life. And guess what? I've been living my life. And now when I come back to YouTube, I have so many things to talk about. I have so many, so many things to share. I actually have so many things that I can't share yet, which will be shared in the future. You know what I mean? Like I've just been literally living off camera and eventually I will get to share it on camera. You know, just sit tight with me, you guys. And I wanna thank everyone who is still here, who's still tuning in, you know, because a lot of people were telling me, Luscious, don't stop posting. Don't step away. Luscious, don't, girl, don't, you're, you're, you're being foolish. Don't leave, you know? A lot of people are gonna leave and they're not gonna come back. But I was just like, girl, I just, I can't be that person. Like if it's not making me happy, I'm stepping away. That's just my true team. I know my worth. 
And I refuse to put that much importance and that much power into something. Even YouTube. I don't want to give it that much importance and I don't want to give it that much power. You know what I mean? I, ref I, it just, I, I don't believe in that. I really don't believe in that. I feel like if you are a person who works hard, who puts all of their energy and their, their life force and their talent into something, as long as it makes you happy, do it. You know, and for a while, YouTube just wasn't making me happy and I had to step away and I had to remove myself from the kind of content that I was constantly doing. I feel like in a sense, I had kind of lost my way. You guys know me from the beginning. That was never my intention. That's not what I wanted to do with my life. And I, so I had to just kind of, I, I had to step away for me. And I had to relive, learn how to relive. <laughs> Honestly, it was like relearning how to live your life because I was just so lost in the, in the machine of YouTube and the machine of numbers and the machine of you have to post every day. You have to post for the, 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 the analytics and you have to, I, I rebuke it. I threw it all into the wind and I said, I remove its power. I wanted to remove its power. Now when I do YouTube is I'm going to do it because I want to do it because it makes me happy because I have something to talk about. I have something to share. I want to have fun on YouTube. There's going to be a renaissance, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, I'm going to be coming with new things, new ideas. I want to try and take risks. I don't want to keep being the one note doll who just keeps doing the same thing over and over. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. I want to have fun on this platform. I want to share my art form and my talents on this platform. And I just want to be really, really queer and gay on this platform. You know what I mean? And I hope you guys want to go on that journey with me. And if you do, you know, press the, give me a little gay like, honey. Give me a little gay follow. And also share the video if you can. If you can't and you're not bothered, baby, don't do it, honey. No Tino shade. I'm not bothered. But if you can, give the little BBW girl a little support and share the video. I would live my gay life for that, honestly. The pandemic was hard, guys. Just being indoors, all of the emotions everything I think it bottled up and I think it made me very angry and I think it just made me just go to YouTube and in a way I was just I was instead of helping which I felt I was helping because my voice I'm gonna defend this and I'm gonna say that even though I was a part of the drama community I was also a an anti-drama channel I was constantly criticizing other drama channels that were very problematic so in my mind, I felt like I was fighting that hypocrisy and I felt like I was fighting the fraud and I felt like I was fighting all that fakeness and all the things that were wrong in the drama world and the beauty world. I will say, I, I will stand by what I, my true intention in my heart, but at the same time, I don't want to constantly be on YouTube fighting with people. You know what I mean? I don't want to be constantly on YouTube fighting with people. You know what I mean? So I had to remove. I had to remove myself because for me, it stopped being fun and it, it was just toxic. And also, the trolls love. Oh, the trolls love when you fight with them because for the trolls, that means they get to do a, a response video and then there they go. They, they shot another video for the day. They put content out there and they're going to make their money. I was literally giving them a reason to do a video and a reason to talk. And um, they were living. You know what I mean? I, honestly, I started to see that I literally, the, the trolls, sometimes a troll is, you just can't. You cannot engage it forever. It just, it started to get, it, it was, it just started to get a little sad for me. And I was like, I need to remove myself from this. Th those are my two cents. <laughs> those are my two cents. If I ever in the future, you never know. If I feel like I have to use my voice, I have to use my voice. You know, I'm not the kind of girl to shy away from it. I'm not the girl to be scared of it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm not that kind of girl. If I need to share and you and say what I have to say, I don't like to keep anything bottled in either. Baby, I will explode, you know? But right now, I'm good. 
Let the girls do what they gotta do. I'm good right now. I'm just gonna focus on me right now. And that's the journey that I'm on. That's the message of this video. You know what? I just hit me like a ton of bricks, baby. I, right now, I just wanna say officially for the record, I wanna focus on me. Now, if at any point in the future, I wanna focus on somebody else, that's my team. But right now in this moment, I wanna focus on me, okay? I have a lot of growing to do as a human being. I've been on this long journey of trying to figure out what works for me. And this is where I'm at right now. Right now I'm focusing on me and I wanna just be, boom, right here in my bubble. And I wanna look within. I have to save myself by myself. It has to come from me. You know what I mean? It's been a long journey, but baby, we are here. We are here. <sighs> Okay, that's all I wanted to say. I really just, I hope somebody out there understood my rambling, because y'all know me, I, I, I love, 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 love to ramble. Uh, before I go, I just want to say, <sighs> baby, we're going back to the old format. Before I go, I just want to say, if you're going through the gigs, do not allow the gigs to go through you. You know, actually tonight, I went out in McAllen and I ran into some kids. And I could tell they're doing drag for the first time. They were telling me we're baby queens. We're barely starting. We're learning how to do our makeup. There was one of them who was going to do drag for the first time. I think sometime next week. So they're like barely coming up in the world. And they live where I live. You know, they're from my area. They're from my hometown, my home base. They're from around here. They're part of my community where I come from. You know, local kids down here in the south of Texas. I just, we were having a conversation. I was giving him advice and I just told him, just remember, if I can do it from Brownsville, Texas, if I can do it from little old Brownsville, Texas, honey, if I can make things happen, you can make things happen too, okay? Do not ever for a second think that just because you're from a small town and maybe you've never seen that happen to someone from your town before, don't think it's impossible. Maybe you have to be the first one. Maybe you have to be the one to break that mold and you have to be the first one to get out. Or you have maybe you have to be the first one to get out, live your life, and then come back and, and, and continue to live your life. You know, you just don't be ashamed of where you're from and don't also allow where you're from to make you feel small. You are capable of making everything happen. All of your dreams, you can make them come true no matter where you're from. So if you're watching this video and you are somewhere in the world, wherever it is that you are, even if it's the smallest little town, even if the close your closest neighbor is five, 10 miles away and you feel alone in the world and you feel like, oh my God, I could never make this happen. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do it. You can make those dreams come true wherever you are in the world. Because guess what? I did that. I was that girl who felt like, honey, I live in Brownsville, Texas. At the end of the bottom of the United States, ain't nobody bothered by us down here. Ain't nobody bothered by me. But guess what? I made a lot of things happen for myself. Incredible, incredible dreams and lives that I have lived. And baby, I'm only getting started. So if I can do it, trust me, sweetie, you can do it too, okay? Believe in yourself. If you're going through the gigs, do not allow the gigs to go through you. I love you guys.